Example three. So we're going to multiply the first products together, or the first factors rather, I should say, to get the pro products. Then this minus sign, we're gonna put in brackets, but we're gonna expand this out and write it twice. So let's just start by multiplying it through so we don't have to write this out too many times. These are long questions. 6h times 2h, you're going to get 12h squared. Okay, then bringing it through the brackets, 6h times negative three is negative 18h. Now I'm gonna bring k through those brackets. k times 2h is plus 2hk. Again, I like to put in alphabetical order. k times negative three is minus 3k. Now I'm gonna bring the negative two through the brackets. Negative two times 2h is negative 4h. Negative two times negative three is plus six. Okay, now minus, I have to expand this. So when I write this out twice, it's gonna look like this. So write it out twice, which means ultimately, oh dear, that should be a four. Ultimately, you're gonna foil this, okay? Now, because this is a subtract sign, after I foil it, I have to remember to bring through this negative one, okay? Even if this was a negative two, even if this was a positive number other than one, you would have to do this. So you put your brackets around there. It's always safe to do that, okay? Let's combine any like terms here, 12, h squared, the minus 18 and the minus four is gonna become minus 22 h plus two h k. There's no other, negative three k and plus six. All right, minus sign's still there, we're gonna foil this out. So four h times four h is 16 h squared. My outside is four h times negative three k, so negative 12 h k. Inside is negative three k times four h again, so negative 12 h k. Negative three k times negative three k is plus sign now, plus three k squared, close those brackets. All right, we've already combined, and again, this is where this can't just disappear in my work, so make sure you still wrote this down I know it's a little bit time consuming, but that's gonna happen. Okay, next thing is I'm gonna combine like terms. Now, if you brought the negative sign through first, then combine like terms, that's fine. I find it just a little more manageable. We're so used to foiling and combining like terms, so I usually do it here. Negative 12 times negative 12 combines minus, uh, oops, plus three K squared still. Okay, my next line, again, is the one we have to remember. So see how I have these brackets each time. My goal now is to bring this negative sign, meaning negative one, through the brackets, which is gonna eliminate the brackets and change all of these signs. So again, yes, you have to write this out one more time. Okay, so that's just rewriting it out. Now, bringing this negative sign through, you're gonna get negative 16h squared. The negatives are gonna change this to a positive. Negative one times the three is gonna make this now a negative. So see how I don't have my brackets now in this next step. I've multiplied that negative sign through, okay? It's changed all of these signs, right? And then my last step is to combine like terms. So 12h squared, I go along here, I have an h squared here, so I have negative four h squared. Negative 22h doesn't look like I have any more of those. 2hk, I have a 24hk there, so 26hk. Negative 3k, six, I don't have any terms. We call it a constant term when it doesn't have a variable. We've already taken care of the h squareds and the hk, so then we just have um, k squared here. Oh, I just realized as I have a three here that this should have been a nine. All of a sudden I thought, I think I should have a higher number there. Oh dear. Negative three times negative three. This should have been a nine this whole way through. I apologize. We're just gonna fix that up from here. That we have minus nine K squared. Okay, you most likely caught this here and I'm sorry that, that I didn't catch it until I was just looking at my answer thinking, hey, we started with larger numbers here. Okay, so then that should have been a nine when I went negative three times negative three, this is nine K squared. So then that didn't change, didn't change except for the negative sign and there was no like terms on that. So there's your final answer now.